hello everyone welcome back to my channel this is Helen so today we're gonna create this beautiful flower I have been seeing seeing it all over Pinterest and I've been wanting to recreate one only today I'm gonna do it with a little twist as you can see here these are the items you're gonna need a Dollar Tree mirror some cardstock paper that I got from Michaels and I really did get a really nice deal on this $1.58 guys clearance comes in many colors as you can see here but I decided to go with the coral I really really love coral and so yeah that's what we're gonna be using today I went online and I printed this free template of these uh, petals I will link that below in the description box below along with the other items that you will be needing so if you want to recreate this it's free for you to use You're going to need some scissors as well. And you're going to need something to curve the edges of the petals. I did buy this Fiskar uh, bone. A, I forgot what it's called, but I'll link it down below. And it's meant to curve the edges of the petals. As you can see, you can also use a butter knife or a sharp uh, pencil or a ruler. So I went ahead and cut out my petal from my template. I have a large, a medium, and a small. I went and I had and I did that and I cut out all three sizes, large, medium, and small. After you cut it out, you want to go ahead and create a slit right there in the middle for each petal. I would say an inch or maybe a little more, a little over an inch. Just like that. You're gonna need eight of the large, the medium, and the small. So eight for each size of the petal. And here we're going to curve the edges. Sometimes I'll do it like this, uh, but you can go ahead and use this tool or the butter knife or anything else just to kind of curve the edges like you see here. So I went ahead and did that for all of them and I also went ahead and cut the slit in the middle for all the petals. So I'm going to go ahead and put this aside and we're going to go ahead and get started. So here we have our mirror. We're going to go ahead and dismantle it carefully because we don't want to break the mirror. We're going to hold on to that back piece. This is going to be uh, our base. It's going to hold our mirror and our flower together. And you can see the little latch it has in the back. This is where we're going to use to hang it. We're going to remove our mirror just like that. Okay. So now we are going to grab our first petal and I'm just kind of curving it in a little bit more with my hands there we're going to flip it around and that's how we're going to glue it so like you just saw here we're going to flip it around we're not going to do that all the way we're just going to slightly bend it in and hot glue it just like I'm showing you here so just like that just slightly in and you have just please be careful not to burn yourself guys I burned myself quite a few times <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and do that and continue to do that for all of our petals. And I'll be right back. All right. So I have gone ahead and glued all my petals the way I showed you. And so now we're going to grab the cardboard piece. This is where, what we're going to use to hang it, or our command strips, or whatever you prefer. I, I am going to go ahead and use this pencil and mark my cardboard piece. Kind of divided into, um, I would say like in eight parts, kind of like a pizza pie or a clock. So there, 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 and all around. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts. And 
that's going to be our starting point. We're going to grab our first petal and we want to glue it almost towards the edge of our cardboard. Just like this. to go ahead and um, uh, glue this one you're gonna line that that slit along with the little mark that's kind of will serve as a guide for you and you're gonna hot glue that there I'm gonna continue all the way around and I'll be right back oh well, there you go our first row is done now we're going to go ahead and go on to our second row with our middle uh, rose petal there. And we want to hot glue them in between the, the first two, just like I'm showing you here. We want to go ahead and uh, glue that down, like I said, in between the first two large petals. And we're going to do that all the way around. So there you have it, that's our second row. And now we're gonna move on to our last row. So again, you wanna do the same thing. You wanna apply hot glue. You wanna glue it down in between the two medium petals, just like this. Go ahead and show you one more and then we're going to go all around and then I'll be right back. And there you have it. Looks so pretty already. And so now we are going to go ahead and apply our mirror. Now for video purposes I went ahead and used hot glue but if this is going to be something more permanent for you guys you can go ahead and use the E6000 but I feel I use the Gorilla brand hot glue and I think it sticks pretty well I haven't had a problem yet and so I'm going to go ahead it's a fairly light piece there you go you're going to go ahead and press down and I'll show you what the final result looks like And there you go guys I, I absolutely love it I think it turned out so beautiful I can see this in a foyer in a girl's room above a vanity you can bling it out you can change out the colors of the cardboard uh, cardstock rather paper uh, I just think it's so beautiful I hope that you do too I hope you recreate it and I'll see you next time please don't forget to comment like give me a thumbs up and subscribe and share Bye, guys.